Hey guys, I'm Shanice. I'm a video editor and content creator in Los Angeles. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to edit on CapCut. Editing is so cool. CapCut is a super popular app that you can also use to edit your videos. It definitely offers a little bit more creativity and some awesome features to bring your videos to other levels. So I'm super excited to bring that to you guys today. I actually use CapCut for a client of mine where I make social content for them and I use CapCut to make some of their content. So today I'm gonna share with you guys how I edit on CapCut. Before we get started, make sure to like the video and comment below because I love to hear from you guys. And as always, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you never miss another one of my videos. All right, let's jump into the app. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is open up the app and it looks just like this as soon as you open it. Now, I actually paid for CapCut Pro because I wanted to be able to use all of the features, but know that you are able to use CapCut for free if you just wanna use the basic portion. So this is what CapCut looks like when you first open it. And first thing you'll notice is this explore feature. I love the explore page on CapCut because it takes you into a world of creativity that you have literally never seen. CapCut makes editing videos super, super fun because there's so much that you can do on the app. You can literally add cool text. You can add cool features. You can add AI. Like CapCut definitely takes videos to another level for sure. But since we're just starting at the basics, let's start from the beginning. So on the main page, you'll see right in front of you, new project, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. And as you can see, it is linked straight to your photo album where you can add in all your videos and photos directly from your albums. You can choose a specific album if you want by clicking the arrow next to recent and just picking any specific, you know, folder that you have videos in or you can just go to recent. I'm going to select some videos that I've been recording for a day in the life video. I've been watching my friend's dog, so I've been recording a lot of videos with him. So I'm just gonna click on the videos right here and you can select as many as you like. And when you are all set, you are going to click the add button at the bottom and it'll automatically populate into a timeline on CapCut. Now we are in our timeline and we're ready to get started. Since a lot of people do use CapCut for social media, it's really important that your aspect ratio is nine by 16. If for any reason you are uploading content into CapCut and it doesn't automatically change to nine by 16, before you start editing your content, you're gonna wanna change it. So let's go right into it. So what you're gonna do is select aspect ratio on your uh, toolbar you're gonna see all the aspect ratios here at the bottom that you can choose from 9 by 16 1 by 1 is square for Instagram 16 by 9 is for YouTube etc etc you'll always make sure that you're selecting 9 by 16 and selecting the check mark all right so you'll see your toolbar at the bottom and this is where you're gonna go to do everything that you can dream of within the app so first let's start with the editing tool the edit tool allows you to change the specific frame that you want to go to in your video or to cut something up so the thing about all editing apps when it comes to your phone is you're working clip by clip. First thing I want to show you guys is how you can move your clips within CapCut. For example, I have this first clip, but I want this first clip to go second. So I'm going to use my finger to just hold down and it's going to automatically change the way the timeline looks into smaller squares. I'm going to have access to move the video in my hand and I'm just going to slide it over in the middle between my two clips and that is how you move a clip on CapCut. Next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how you can split or cut a clip within the app. So as you can see, the video starts right here, but I want to go and start my video here with me holding the dog. So what I'm going to do is select my clip and it'll automatically populate a new toolbar at the bottom where I'm allowed to split. I can select split here and now I have two clips. That is how you split a clip within CapCut. Another way that you can cut or split a clip is to select the clip that you have. And do you see this white box that's kind of next to your playback? I'm gonna press and hold that down and I can move it along my timeline to go straight to the part that I need it to go, which is right here. So those are two ways that you can cut or split your clips in CapCut. The next thing you can do in CapCut is of course add audio. Audio always makes a video super fun and super engaging to watch. So this is how you add your audio. You'll select the audio tool and you'll click sounds. 
And CapCut has also their own library full of music that you can use when it comes to creating your videos. Again, the disclaimer is we don't quite know if all the music that is available within the app is copyright free. So you'll have to use the music at your own discretion. But what you'll do is you'll select a song. And if you like it, you can press add and you can add it to your video. What I do like about the CapCut music library is that a lot of these sounds that are available within the app are actually available on TikTok. So it's really cool that, you know, if you have a specific sound that you wanted to use, you don't have to take it from the app itself and bring it into CapCut. It's already available for you right here. You can even link your TikTok account. Let's link mine since we're here. Authorize. Bam, now TikTok is completely linked to my CapCut, so I'm able to pull sounds from my TikTok library and bring it right into the app. Super, super cool. You can even create your own audio or extract your own audio, and I'll do that for you guys in another video, but this is literally how you find your sounds or add music to your videos. The next thing I'll show you that you can do in CapCut is add text. Adding text definitely makes a video look more engaging and super fun, and this is how you do it. You'll just select the text box right at the bottom, and you'll select add text. Once you're ready, you'll just, you know, write what you want, day in the life. And you can make it bigger and smaller by using your finger to just drag it back and forth. You can change the font styles. CapCut has so many fonts that you can choose from. Like, oh my gosh, I can change, you know, the style of it. I can change the colors. I can add effects to my art. I can add effects and of course if you have the pro version you're able to have more variety of styles to choose from but don't sleep on the ones that are available in the app itself like these are really really cool. CapCut really just makes everything look so much more like alive. Along with adding text you can also add stickers. I don't really use stickers when it comes to editing my videos or anything but if you're a person who really loves animation and stickers they definitely have a plethora to choose from within their library. Another thing you can do in CapCut is add an overlay. An overlay is simply just something that you put over the video that you have right now whether it's a photo or a video. So what you'll do is you'll select overlay, click add overlay, select the video that it is that you want to add, you'll select add at the bottom and it'll automatically populate again again into your video. So I love overlays and I love being able to add multiple videos on top of a video. What I love about CapCut is you can add multiple different overlays to your video, not just two. So let's add another one just because we can. And you can select them all at one time, but I'm just kind of selecting them one at a time. And anytime you're working with a specific video, you're going to want to make sure you highlight it. I can use my fingers to make the overlay bigger or smaller. I can cut it down. I can cut the video down to play it during a certain part of my video. I can move my clip to the beginning and make something else play after that. The last thing I'll show you that you can do in CapCut is add effects. CapCut is known for the amazing graphics and animations that you can add to a video. You'll select your effects button right here at the bottom of your toolbar. You'll select video effects and it'll then bring you into another library to allow you to pick any of the effects that they have available. Let's Let's try this edge glow. I don't know what that looks like. Ooh, that's cool. Electric ripple. How fire is that? Say you're looking for a specific effect. You can just type it into your search bar. Let's type in snowfall and search. And a bunch of effects for snowfall will pop up that you can add to your video. The customization inside of CapCut is crazy. So if you're a person who's really trying to just take your editing to another level, I definitely suggest getting CapCut. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching my CapCut basics. If you're interested in learning more about CapCut, make sure to check out the rest of my videos where I go more in depth about some other cool things you can do with the app. As always, make sure to like this video, comment below because I love to chat with you guys and subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss another one of my videos and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!